wondering what Meek was doing in on defense. I thought it was 83, it was 93. Tedford will throw, straight drop back, touchdown to Wesson! All the people are going crazy. What a comeback. Vince Wesson, the silent gun in the lineup for Fresno State, while Page stole the headlines, Wesson steals the game. It's tied at 28. They still have to make the conversion with 11 seconds left. Again, we wondered why they went for the two point seconds left. The biggest point of Scott Darrow's life so far. And he makes it. It was nearly blocked, but he got it through there. Fresno State has won the California Bowl with a miracle comeback, 29 to 28. And an unheralded wide receiver by the name of Vince Wesson, a hometown boy out of Fresno, scored the game-winning touchdown. Jim Sweeney, well, they say it may be a swan song at Fresno State. Rumors circulating wildly that he's headed for to uh, end this series for Oregon State. Out of bounds at the four. Pena booted it out of bounds between the four and the five yard line. So now the Bulldogs are going to have to go almost 96 yards to get a score. But neither team has been able to score yet in this game. It's been a battle of field goals. Barry Belli with three. Jim Nielsen with two. Nine, six, Fresno State over Oregon State. 37 yard punt by Pena. That was a great punt, kick it out of bounds in a four-yard line. Now the Bulldogs need a, a big play here to get them out from the shadows of their own goal. Back of Kevin Sweeney will be Lavelle Thomas and James Williams. From the four. Sweeney going long and deep for Stephen Baker. Baker's got the ball at the 40. It'll be a 96-yard <laughs> touchdown play. Kevin Sweeney to Stephen Baker, the touchdown maker. No, no flags, no flags. Oh, you talk about the bomb. We've nope. been waiting a game and a half for that. We've been talking about having Kevin go downfield. He's got a strong arm. That was a great pass and a great reset. Let's take another look at it. Baker, number 81, he runs a, a fly pattern, a streak pattern. He goes straight down the field. He just outruns the cornerback. A perfectly thrown pass. The defensive halfback fell down. Wouldn't have made any difference because he was Baker was beyond him anyway. 96 yard, the most spectacular bulldog play of the year. I'm a 15 yard penalty. Second and 19 now for Fresno State from their own 25. The Bulldogs lead 16. Nine. Kevin has time to set up and he goes to Taylor. This is going to be another Fresno State score. Touchdown, Gene Taylor, Fresno State. 75 yards. A couple of lightning bolt strikes. 96 yards by Kevin Sweeney. This one for 75 yards. And look at the celebration. Coming back. Be a tough opener for Boyd Grant and company. Sweeney airing it all the way out to Baker. Baker's got his man beat. Baker made a great catch. Down to the five-yard line of Long Beach. That ball had to be thrown 60 yards through the air by Kevin Sweeney. And a great, great catch by Stephen Baker. Defensive unit. It's Baker back deep now. Wesson is not there. He's on the sidelines. Nice kick by Lemmers. Baker takes it at the 16. Up to the 20. Gets a good block from Olsen. Baker still on his feet to the 40. Baker still going. And he's working up to the 50 yard line. Oh, what a great run by Stephen Baker. Well, what is that flag for? Well, we are about to find out. That was flag was thrown by the referee who, who came from all the way up the field and was thrown. It's a it's a dead ball foul against the, the 49ers again. That was a punt of 53 yards by Lemers and a sensational weaving run in heavy traffic of 34 yards by Baker. Watch it again. Here it is. Watch Baker now. He's a very quick There's runner. a great block by Olsen. There's a, yep, we saw that now. Watch Baker turn. He'll cut back to the left now. Another good block by, by Webster. There, there comes Baker again. Now let's watch the late hit. There comes there, there the late hit come in. There's another personal foul against the 49. Kevin Sweeney going long and deep. 
back for Stephen Baker. Baker has the ball. It's going to be a touchdown. A 90-yard touchdown. Kevin Sweeney to Stephen Baker. Incredible, and I think Baker was interfered with. I think Derek Abel really made contact with him down there. Baker was able to keep his balance low, but I think Abel pushed him. Great throw that time by Sweeney. And just great running that time by Kevin Baker. 5'9", 172 pounds. Watching chat, you're going to see. Right? Well, maybe he didn't bump him. I thought he did on the live show. But anyway, Stephen Baker, an 80-yard TD catch. touchdown maker. The little guy is simply amazing. Good wall set up that time too by the Fresno State uh, uh, team on, uh, on that return. They had a wall set up and number seven Mark Page the kicker was the only guy that really had a shot at and him. And he didn't. And Baker put such a move on him it was no contest. Baker could spot him 15 yeah. yards and beat him in the 100 he's yard day. Well, Maybe he's the 60. Up. Yeah. Here's Belli on the extra point attempt. It's now 48-2, Fresno State. Countdown continues here at Bulldog Stadium in Fresno. Taylor to the right. Baker to the left. Crowd on its feet, anticipating. There it is. Sweeney to Pondre Davis. They will mark his progress at the 15. 10,581 yards. And that is the new record. Brent Damati, the public address announcer, has just informed the crowd that that last pass completion to Baker put him over the mark. And the game has been stopped here at Fresno. The entire Bulldog team pours out to congratulate their four-year quarterback, Kevin Sweeney. Kevin Sweeney has 175 yards tonight. Please welcome... This is the voice of the public address announcer, Brent DeMonte. Please welcome. <laughs> Gary Cunningham, the athletic director at Fresno State, is out there, the man in the red jacket. There is Lucille Sweeney, Jim's mother, Karen Stern. Kevin Sweeney's fiance. Fresno State Athletic Director Dr. Gary Cunningham is presenting the game ball to Kevin. Joining Kevin on the field and in turn receiving the game ball from him are his mother, Seal Sweeney, and his fiance, Karen Stern. Kevin, on behalf of the Fresno State Athletic Department, Bulldog Football, the university and all of your Red Wave fans throughout the San Joaquin Valley, congratulations on a glorious career as a freshman. Rich Olson, offensive coach for Fresno State. First, the hug, of course, by his dad, Jim Sweeney. The entire Sweeney clan is here tonight. Eight children in the family kind of makes you do up, Mike, when you see a father and son embrace like that. 
Five sisters, two brothers. Kevin is the youngest. I go back to the telegram that was sent earlier by Doug Flutie. Said, good luck. I hope you break my record. Break it, but don't shatter it. I don't know. With another half to go here, it just may get shattered real badly. Look at all of the names in college football history. Jim Plunkett, Stanford. John Reeves. Jack Thompson, the throw-in Samoan up at Washington State. Mark Herman of Purdue. Jim McMahon, BYU. Ben Bennett from Duke. Doug Flutie, Boston College, and now topping the list, the 23-year-old senior quarterback of Fresno State. It is complete and knocked out of the hands. No, sir, they say he held on to it. James Williams. Man, was he hit. I thought he, when he came down, juggled the football and hit the turf, but James Williams was just an excellent catch. That was not an excellent catch. That was a miraculous grab by Williams. He all but lost control, but he used the helmet to secure the ball. Watch. He's hit there. Look, it's on the helmet, and he was able to hold on to it. That's an amazing play, and Landrum looks on and said, how does he do it? How could he hold the ball? Tactics of waving the towel. We'll have a chance to see the play after the kick. Mike Perez will hold. Point after touchdown for Olivares. He missed his other attempt, his first attempt. This is his second attempt. He's got it. 10.49 to play in the game, and the Spartans take the lead back at 13 to 9. 75 yards, Perez to Liggins. Watch number 40, Keith McCoy. We'll see Perez going back. This is a designed play to get Liggins one-on-one -on -one deep, and Perez just airs it out. Now, Liggins, as you watch, watch the move on McCoy. It's bump and run. McCoy simply falls he down. Falls. The guy Liggins does not have great speed. Caught 80 passes last year, but you have enough speed at the wide receiver that once you're that open, nobody's going to catch you. Keith McCoy, by the way, 10-4 in the 100 meters. The guy Liggins is in for the touchdown. And that makes Mike Perez happy. 75 yards in 11 seconds. Now, I thought they were going to double-team Guy Liggins the entire football game, Dave. Keith McCoy fell down. Where was the help? Well, they were in the bump-and-run coverage, and the safety didn't go over to help. It's tough to say whether they had on-top help or not. The point is Keith McCoy, with exceptional speed, simply fell down, and the play designed to go to Liggins at the perfect time. Guy Liggins... Who is not a big play receiver. He catches quite a few balls, 41 coming in. And, but on the average, only about 12.3 a ball game. That is the 10th longest 
best play in San Jose State history. That's a backbreaker because the Bulldogs have played so well defensively. They give up the lead on one play. There's the kickoff from Sergio Olivares. Brock Smith, Anthony Williams, two burners are back. Anthony Williams from his five-yard line. Pardon me, Brock Smith. Number two, breaks it. 35-40, Olivares, the kicker, can stop him. He doesn't. And he breaks the tackle. He's going all the way. 20, 10. Brock Smith goes all the way for a touchdown. 95 yards. Jenkins, the two wide out celebrate. We have played this whole football game with nothing happening, and then in 20 seconds, we have two scores. Well, you think they're waving towels now. Jim Sweeney's waving jerseys. Claude Gilbert, and you see Claude Gilbert right there pointing at Jim Sweeney. I can tell you, opposing coaches don't like to be showed up. Jim yeah. Sweeney elated, and Brock Smith has set this place on its collective ear with a great kickoff return. Uh, Barry Belli is outstanding. He has missed six extra points his entire career. This one is big though. Right now it's 15-13. Here it is, Belli. He can do that in his sleep. 10-33 to play in the game. It is now 16-13 for Fresno State. 95 yards, Brock Smith. Let's watch Brock Smith. He heads to the right. He will hesitate for a second. And really San Jose, San Jose State converges inside and now yes. Brock Smith is off to the races but it's not over he's got two men to beat one the kicker you should never be tackled by the kicker Brock Smith isn't watch him run through two arm tackles right there and Smith again not with great speed but a tremendous athlete and he is saying no way fellas I am home free Harverson and Taylor could not bring down Smith the Bulldogs are up by three again Barsotti under pressure, throws it deep. Jones is out there, makes a marvelous catch at the 15-yard line. Barsotti could only put it there because Craig Jones was so well covered. And Jones just showing those great hands that we've seen all year long. What about the protection? Look at perfect pocket protection. And how do you like this when you have a tight end that can go down and do that? Craig It right now. Well, it's the fourth down, and there goes the punt, and it will be recovered by Fresno State. It does not matter. It will be the Bulldogs get. They've got it in the end zone. It's a touchdown. I believe it was James Williams that came up with the touchdown. There he is, the happy Bulldog, went right through the hands of the punter, and uh, you see the mad scramble there. Jim Hughes let it get right through him, and <laughs> it's tipped backwards. And there's the fleet-footed Williams to be in the right place at the right time. He's a happy young man, yeah. He started it last week with a long interception return, or two weeks ago, against Brett Snyder in Utah State. He's ...yards last year. They have gone to him in the past, but they will stick with Barsotti here. Rosette, 50-yard line. He has great speed. Darrell Rosette for the touchdown, 65 yards. And what a way to break open offensively for Fresno State. This, they've done it all year long. Run the ball, and Darrell Rosette, who is taking over here for a banged up Clyde Skipper in the second half. One move, two moves, breaks through the line. A good block downfield by his wide receiver, Andre Alexander. And Rosette, with his 4-4 speed, is off to the races. display. Rogers almost got him. 
Kimbrough will run for the first down, or very close. He fumbles, and it's the Bulldogs football. His third fumble of the game. That, that ball very nearly went out of bounds. Had it, Western Michigan keeps control. The officials are talking about it right now. But Kimbrough, wanting to get that first down, doesn't slide. Look at him, stay up. That's where the ball came out. He was hit right square in a bread basket. And the ball, as you can see, stays in bounds. Brian Greer is the one that falls on it for Fresno State. But, Steve, it was the guy who was penalized earlier. Mark has pulled, look at him, stick his helmet right in Kimbrough's stomach where the football is. In fact, the ball started to slide out even before Hope put his hat on it. Up, they line up for one. Two phrase, line up. Low snap. They're going to have to go for it. Incomplete, 31-30, Fresno State holds on. Bulldogs need 17. Mark wants to go deep again, and the pass is caught by Selly. He could go all the way. Stephen Shelley's to the 20. He is gone. Touchdown, Fresno State. Statistician Mike Sweeney, 90 yard touchdown pass from Mark Barsotti to Stephen Shelley. And Jim Sweeney had been telling us at the beginning of the year that that guy can be one of the great receivers in the Big West. The only problem, he has Dwight Pickens on the other side. Well, and Mark Barsotti got well in a hurry. What a great play after the loss on first down. Comes back, throws the corner pattern, and gets the touchdown. Time left in the clock, just six seconds. Riley gets it off, rolls left, in trouble. He will be almost, he escapes one man. Edwards tries to throw him down. Cox with the interception! And Ron Cox will go all the way! Second and goal. The fade in the end zone. State may have just entered the big time in the WAC conference as well as kept San Diego State once again from going to the Holiday Bowl and winning the WAC championship. A game that was exciting from beginning to end. Trent Dilfer acts as if he almost can't believe it. And Dilfer, only a sophomore. Hyperventilated, jumping around on the sidelines. Bulldogs. Trent Dilfer, the sophomore at quarterback. There's the draw. It is Lorenzo Neal, and he's got it. Still on his feet, spins to the 40 yard line, a gain of eight. Michael Ross to the right. Play action. Dilfer looking for his tight end, sends it out to the right side. It is caught. Lorenzo Neal carries it to the 24-yard line. Boy, credit Neal on a great move once he catches the football. He's the safety valve out in the flat. Dilfer looks downfield. There's nothing there. Now just dump it out in the flat and watch the move that Neal puts on. Plant, get back to the inside, then pick up that positive yardage. Bill, they call this yards after contact. It's how many yards do you get once you're hit. Now, right 
there. He's hit. Now watch that leg drive. Just keep those legs churning. And he picks up another three, almost four yards. In the mud. Third down. Draw. Lorenzo Neal has got a first down and a whole bunch more. Whoa, did he run right through a tackle. Hollenquist finally got a good lead block by Ron Rivers. And Rivers only goes 5'9", 190. Well, this is a 12-yard run, but you're right. Right there, he breaks the tackle. Now, pick up that blocker, get that head down, pick up that extra yardage. That turned a negative play into a positive play. I'm right back out in it again. There it is. There's the T-heavy formation. The give again straight ahead. Touchdown, Fresno State, Lorenzo Neal. Just put that head down and power up through there. Counter. Lorenzo Neal. Hit by Hollenquist at the 35. It's a first down for the Bulldogs. Well, we keep on seeing Lorenzo Neal make those great cuts. This is a little slide draw. Good block up front there by Rivers. He gets the first block. Then Neal just keeps on turning those legs to pick up the yardage. Hey, Dilfer has been untouched. There's the draw. Lorenzo Neal. And look at him turn to the 32. Josh Coldiron, James, Jason James, and Russ Hartman. Great up front blocking. Just pushing the line. Look at the cheerleading going on. Right tackle, and look at that effort. Lorenzo Neal. He reminds me so much, Dave, of that prototypical, that throwback to those Big Ten driving fullbacks. Yes. We talked earlier, yards after contact. Watch the leg strength that he runs with. Doesn't get his legs taken out from under him, just keeps on pulling. And on that play, he's now run 19 times for 76 yards. of the first half. Jamie Christian for Fresno State tries to lateral it, and he does. Sebron, Malcolm Sebron, no flags. Merry Christmas, Bulldogs. Do you believe it? The blitz coming, Dilfer gets rid of it. And what a grab by Daigle. Oh, he showed the heart of a lion into the teeth of the zone to hang on. Gain of 27. Play was set up by Dilfer again. Fake the draw. Here though, six and nine with a season best effort of 46. Lock, middle of the line. And a big return. The Bulldogs take it all the way up the side. Peyton Williams untouched 87 yards number 13 Terrence Brown got up in the air and got that football that's a habit that the Fresno State special teams have cultivated this year they've done a marvelous job that's his third block of the season, and this time it bounds right into the hands of Peyton Williams, who takes it the distance. First huge play of this football game that resulted in points. Certainly Anderson's run could have been a huge play for Utah. Jeff Hanna for the extra point. Not the first huge play, a 76-yard run on the first play from scrimmage by Mike Anderson. Wasted. Utes not only don't score, they give up seven on the block field goal return by Peyton Williams. Go back right now. On second down, Ward with the football. And will not be taken down, and this is, could go. Look at the speed. It's a foot race to the end zone. Cut from behind. No, he keeps his feet. Touchdown, Fresno State on a huge run oh by Derek Ward. Oh, Charles Rogers was the only guy who could get him. 
and it looked like he was going to trip him up, but the guy is just too, too strong oh, to I take did. down. Look at the Bulldog fans. They're loving it. Well, this is just... This is just good individual effort. There's nothing there. He bounces off. Now north and south, young man. There's where the goal is. And that's a straight path to pay dirt right there. And I tell you, we talked about it last week, Ralph. He just keeps showing more and more signs of a... Credit for consistency. And your eye shadow looks bad. You need a makeup call, James. <laughs> 37-20, Air Force, David Carr. Barrion, Bernard, gone! started you know what started all this when Fresno State blocked that kick that was their seventh block this season and it's, it blocked it's about a motion doing something that you do really well and Bernard Barry got a chance to play more this year when Charles Smith and both Rodney Wright Barry said the keys win the kicking game win time of possession win turnovers win penalties they have done all but the kicking game in the second half Coverage for Fresno State, and it is picked off. Devon Banks. As soon as he threw it, he knew it. He had Drum going out to the corner of the end zone, the near corner of the end zone. I thought he was going to go to him right away. He held off, felt he was covered, and tried to hit the next crossing receiver at the next depth and threw it right to the defender. Sweeney. 24-10, Fresno State, car to the air again, and there he's got a man, there he goes, Rodney Wright, he's 20, he's 10, he's touchdown, Fresno State, 70 yards. Jim Sweeney Field, it has been all Bulldogs. Extra point is good. The most important football game in Fresno State's history and boy, has David Carr and the Bulldogs shown up. <laughs> Bit of a track meet. That's it in the second half. Carr, the pump fake, going deep, man.
to lose, he will lose. And he didn't want to give his players any excuse to lose tonight. Rich? Oh, that's a play. Terrell Roberts was hammered. And let's hope Roberts is okay. Kendall Edwards arrived a bit early. <laughs> Kendall arrived twice on that play. And, you know, not, not a laughing matter. This is a dangerous play, and I think he was really trying to time this up. I think he was trying to time up the football. And then he gets up, and watch this blow. <laughs> I mean, if there's a picture that illustrates the style of play of this Fresno State team in two opening games against big-time opponents. The rain has started towards the end of the first half, has subsided once again. Second half is underway. So much for the fatigue that he felt with the catches and all the kick returns he had had up to this point. Great special teams on the part of Fresno State, just creating a chasm here. Take a look at Barry and look how things open up in the middle. Right as he's going to veer here, take a look at the blocking. Great job at the point of attack coming across Lyman. Great block there by number 31. That happens to be just Garen Baines, a reserve defensive back. And here Barry gets to the sidelines. And as you pointed out, he shows some speed. 6'2", 190 pounds. Look at the two strides. Beautiful. Five. They're not getting a lot of hits on David Carr. His offensive line is keeping him off of Another blitz. Carr with plenty of time. And right there, Rodney Wright, great speed, and he will go! Touchdown, Fresno State! 79 yards! You know, that's really borderline taunting, holding that ball out like that. Boy, I tell you, you know, third and six, though, you ask your one guy. It's not like they sent a lot of guys out. They did have great protection, as you mentioned a moment ago, and they, they kept they, the tight end in, but they just asked, they just asked Rodney Wright, you know, run it, just run look it at those in. Hands, how close that is to getting knocked down. You have a center fielder in the safety position. He overruns the play a little bit, and then Rodney Wright, I told you, get, take this guy to training camp with you. NFL tonight is coming up next. Once again, Karaski missed from 32. This will be a 31-yarder for the win for Tom Kraft and the upset. The snapper is Robbie Ryan. The holder is Sin Janoski. Coach, your thoughts? That's the 37th kick they blocked in the last five years, so don't be surprised. They got pressure. The Washington got his hands up, coming up in, inside. One thing you worry about on a field goal like that, can, can your kicker get it up? It looks like it might have been a bad snap here, too. Snap on a bounce. And the kick got off low. And what a leap there, Coach. Raymond Washington, up high. They worked on that during practice this week. 
Let's go down to Heather Cox. Heather. This will see shows blitz for a moment, then backs out. Suggs launches one. Mesa oh, has got the interception. D. Mesa at the 40. He's got a convoy of blockers. D. Mesa. Touchdown, Fresno State. And Coach John Cooper, a 48-yard interception return for a touchdown and your experience told you that that that's might not why, be the thing to do that's why you take a knee you don't take any chances you're leading in the ball game if you complete the pass you still got 50 yards to go for a first for, for a touchdown with 14 seconds left to go in the first half d mesa victimized early and he gets uh job by dan vector playing six defensive backs now against his spread offense we're seeing Third and 14, Pinnaker going up top, looking for DeAndre Gilbert. He's got it! DeAndre Gilbert complete! Gilbert down the sideline! And Gilbert inside the five! What a catch! By the junior from Fresno, DeAndre Gilbert. 68-yard catch and run, coach. What can you say? This is a chance. This is just a, a, a great example of the, of the wide receiver being better than the defensive back. He just great hand-eye coordination, a well-thrown pass. But give the credit right there to, to Gilbert, number 87. Bridges. The pass underthrown by Demarius Bilbo. Good quarterback. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. Would there be another chance for Bilbo? Let's see. You run the ball, keep the ball on the ground, keep the clock going. Rodney Davis, you got to stop Rodney ah, Davis. There he goes. Rodney Davis to the house. Touchdown. And he flips the ball into the stands. To a Bulldog fan, 28 yards, right up the gut. You got to call the penalty. I thought that's a penalty in college football. You can't <laughs> throw the ball in the stands. Rodney Davis, and maybe the Georgia Tech squad disheartened by the the fourth and one coach, and that just opened up beautifully for Davis. Well, that happens sometimes when you're crowding the line of scrimmage and trying to stop the short yardage running play. Once they pop the line of scrimmage, because your defensive backs are so close to the line of scrimmage, the back just has daylight, has open open space to run for the touchdown. Extra point going to be uh, important here, Coach. The lead is eight. If you can get to nine, you make it a, a, a two-possession game. Husky Stadium here in Seattle. Four-point ball game. And there's a fumble. Ball first picked up by Fresno State. And it's going to be a touchdown for Brian Morris on the first snap of the final period. And again, kind of a rookie mistake. That's an exchange change problem between the quarterback and the running back. Could have been Stanback, could have been James in that situation. Gilby can only look on and say, what happened? Well, well it think, was a fake. Yeah, it was going to be an option. I think Stanback was going to either keep it or throw it. And he just dropped it. Brad Morris, thank you very much. It was a Straight back, pause. They come off the edge. Pause throws, intercepted. Picked off by Marshall. Marshall down the sideline midfield. He's got pause to beat, and he beats it easily. And Fresno State is going to have its third defensive touchdown of the game. 75 yards. Wow. And they'll get an excessive celebration penalty, which I hate. You hate the fact that they call the penalty, or yeah. you hate the taunting? I, I hate the fact they call that penalty. I think you should let kids celebrate. Come on, well, college kids. You got a 75-yard touchdown return by a sophomore cornerback, Richard Marshall. You can bet he is going to be excited. And what they tell you to do in college football or any football team is when you score a touchdown, celebrate with your teammates. He just Another stepped kid. right in front of that one. Yep. 
was indebted for Williams. Marshall steps right in front of him, gives a, a little bit of a dead leg to Casey Paws. Casey Paws, no match for Marshall's speed. Marshall takes it in the end zone. Let's see how hard he clowns here on the, uh, the old celebration if he deserved the flag. Wow, well, you can't unbutton, you can't unbutton the, uh, the helmet. You can't unbutton the helmet, they get mad about that. And, and he did the little hip pose, but that wasn't that bad. Six. They'll put a lot of different receivers. Fairman was just lined up as a fullback. They're trying to get a matchup where they can throw it downfield to that fullback. Oh, they'll throw out of the end zone. Kager will throw deep again for Paul Williams, who adjusts, makes the catch. That flag is on Boise as Williams stays in bounds, stays alive, and has one of the longest touchdowns in Fresno State history. 98 yards. Blue a shoe. And we're going to get a timeout called by USC. Richard Marshall making a nice open field tackle on Reggie Bush on the zone play. Reggie cuts it back. And Richard Marshall getting his head right on Reggie's thigh, takes his shoe and throws his shoe up into the air. I don't think I've ever seen that. A thrown shoe on the football field. into the short field and run the zone with the cutback. That gives them an advantage to the wide side of the field. We talked about the wide side being open to them for throwing. It was also there for running. Louisiana Tech is second to last in Division I football in yards per game averaged on the ground. 
They allow 224 yards per game rushing to their opponents. Well, they've allowed 295 yards alone to Dwayne Wright. And get to the quarterback and sack him. The next best thing is to get your hands up and just read his eyes. And that's what Georgia Tech was did well last last play. Well, that's how you counter the blitz right there with the speed of Smith. Still going. If he goes right, he's got a chance. Woo, a spectacular screen pass. Wow. All the way to the Georgia Tech 39 yard line. No flags. Burnett and Ward Daniels finally brought him down. Well, Smith and Smith wears a Batman shirt underneath his pads that he wore since high school, so they call him Batman, and I, I think you see why now. I mean, he's, he's running like a superhero for this crowd right now. I mean, spin moves, juke moves, stiff arms. I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, Which certainly helped him when he got off the field, guys. Big hole. Big chance for a touchdown. He'll go. No flags. Clifton Smith. Touchdown. Bulldogs. Well, we know why now. I mean, he's, why he's an MVP. He's truly a, a special, special player. The penalty flag will be for the jumping on the sign and jumping into the stands. Nice I mean, just blocked. Just, just well blocked, you know, from, from everybody out there. And Clifton Smith virtually goes untouched. Not a single body there to, touch, to get a hand on him. Nate Adams, the fullback, is the one who had that last block that really sprung Smith. Sportsmanlike conduct, excessive celebration on the ball carrier. It'll be a 15-yard penalty assessed on the kickoff. No, that's a, that's a not a very Pat Hill-like move there. You no, don't no. You like penalties in the end zone. It's caught on his team very often. Yeah, I'm ambivalent about that call. Um, I guess he did do something he shouldn't have done, but it is a bowl game. It was a touchdown, but that's okay. Stitzer on for the PAT. Fresno State has blown this game open. They were losing 7-0 in the first quarter, and they have reeled off 27 unanswered points. See if Tech uses a timeout as this play doesn't get much. But it gets wow. much! Clifton Smith! Wow. <laughs> you bet. 32 yards. There's your player of the game right there, Clifton Smith. Yeah, I mean he he's the team MVP, and uh, now I, you know, the guy's a phenomenal player. He can do everything that you want out of a football player on offense. Well, he is over 200 total yards just on offense, not even counting his work on punt return. 17 for 148 and a couple of scores. And those are career high in rushing yardage. That was their best. Look me in my eyes, tell me what you see. Look me in my eyes, tell me what you see. I see greatness. Ah! <laughs> e injury. Matthews, cutting back, could be gone. Touchdown. <laughs> Worth the three-and-a-half-hour ride from Fresno to watch this one. Fresno State still within gasoline's range. Under pressure, they throw it this way, set up the screen, and have room. Harding jumps over one, gets to the end zone. And it's Matthews who did it. Unbelievable. First catch of the afternoon for Ryan Matthews, 25 yards to the end zone. Gessling on for the extra point. Good holding spot. A little bit off on the snap. Ryan Matthews, take a look at this one. Got room, got blockers. Uh-oh, there's a tackler. Not anymore.
Ball game right here. Six seconds to go. Fourth down, Fresno State. Colburn, Hamler reaches for the end zone. Touchdown! Oh. Look at him. Fat Hill's got the hat off. He knows he's doubling down. Matthews, the tail of the tandem in the eye. How do you finish your career? Colburn looking the end zone. Throws it up for grabs, and it's knocked away. Caught by a lineman on the tip to the end zone for the conversion. Is he in? And he is in. Unbelievable. I have no words for what we just saw. Devon Cunningham off the deflection. Watch this, he just threw it up for grabs. It's tipped away by Tavon Wilson. And then there is Devon Cunningham. 6'6", 350 pounds, who muscles it over. And who may just made the play of his life. Be seen whether that will be next year and whether they will have to cough up $5 million to do it. But Boise State and Nevada also Going to the Mountain West and a big block at the line of scrimmage. Trying to clear a path for Wiley. Oh my goodness. Now, Jamel Hamler, the receiver for Fresno State, if you talk to any of the teammates, they will say this guy is the leader of the group. He is a work hard guy, blue collar, um, great receiver, and he'll do the dirty work. And he comes in there on that play and sets an all-time dick leader. He comes in from the edge right now, and Cameron Cheatham, the strong safety, he gets caught up, he wants to read the reverse, and just doesn't see Jamel Hamler coming in there. Those are kill shots that receivers absolutely just lick their chops for, and it's a clean hit all the way. Nice play by Jamel Hamler. That was an excellent job by Carr recognizing the situation. Because this thing's covered up. The only play that he has is to go for it. Good job of knowing where the sticks are and making the leap to move the chains. The runner, the runner made the line to gain. First down. So it's going to be first and goal. Ball at the one-yard line. Fans here in Lincoln a little bit stunned. They're quickly finding out what this Fresno State Bulldog team is all about. A tough Pat Hill coach team. Well, they read the papers and watch the TVs like everyone, hearing about how good this defense is. They want to see it. The previous play is under review. Powerful defense. This is going to be the best look that we have about extending the football to the pylon. The ruling of the field of a first down has been overturned. After review, the runner scored. That's the old bait and switch. The fans here at Memorial Stadium not too thrilled. But it's going to be a touchdown for Fresno State. Their second touchdown here in the first quarter. Step up. 
got the pressure. They went after Southwick, put pressure on his face, which caused the throw a little bit behind him. Jonathan Norton, number 37, with a big pass breakup. And coach Tim DeRuiter loves what he sees. The streak, the seven-year streak, is over. The losing streak comes to an end at Bulldog Stadium tonight. Now the question for Fresno State, how far can the Bulldogs carry it? Potentially all the way to the BCS in the final year that we could see an at-large BCS buster. They were in the top 25 in the USA Today poll, checking in 25 this week. I think they'll get in the AP, AP poll as well next week. And this team has a lot of weapons, a fifth-year senior quarterback who knows how to work the offense. This is a team a lot of quality teams wouldn't want to face. He's really a complete player. His arm is strong enough. Here comes a trick play. Is it a fumble Ruski? Burst is free. Fumble Ruski for a touchdown. Twenty-seven yards, and this has turned into a lot of fun for Fresno State on its senior day. Rippin flush, caught, dropped. That could be a safety. We've been talking about him all day. The lead Forrester getting in the backfield, getting the sack, and it is a safety. Getting the safety. It took an official's conference, and now the signal that Fresno State adds two points, and they'll get the football. There is an excitement on that Fresno State sideline in these stands. And you talked all day, you and I did about sowing doubt. Well, Malik Forrester has sown doubt in that offensive line for Boise State. They're going to have to figure out a way because he's been too quick and too good. And he's been in the backfield all day. Did catch that. Six of his seven catches have resulted in first downs, including that last one. And a huge first down as Houston keeps his drive alive. Fake the cat a lot. Ball tipped up in the air. It's up for grabs and it's intercepted. Gerald Bryant picks it off and he could take it to the house. And he does. That's as good a pick six as you will see. Bobby Stanley got his hand on it. Yeah. And reading the three-step, pulling the ball away from the receiver, not losing it, and then running through tacklers, I mean, that's as good as it gets. He had to do an awful lot to make that happen. And that ball could easily have been knocked down by the receiver, but he just ripped it away from him. Camacho at the point after, and Fresno State extends their lead. No, mm, gonna be short and gonna be returned. Hold on just a second. I see a lot of red down here. He's and gone. I don't think anybody is going to catch Jameer Jordan. He gets a block. 108 Whoa. yards. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Why not? No flags that I can see. Watch the wave of red to the left of your screen. Oh, wall. look at those guys. They're just waiting to pick off That's anybody. Defense. <laughs> Spectacular finish to Fresno. A 44-yard field goal. Just 11 of 19 on the season. In the snow, Fuller able to boot it through. <laughs> from 44 yards away in a snow globe. See how it does here in the snow. And just hooks it home. Asa Fuller. 
Shift Rivers. McMarion options to Rivers. Trying to turn the corner. He'll get there. Paynard into the orange to win on the blue. Roddy Rivers and Fresno State in overtime. At the very end, you had to get some kind of doubt in the mind of Boise State and those defenders. It turned out to be the option with McMarion, and that forced the Boise State defenders to free up Rivers on the outside, and he had the speed to the edge to finish, and finally...